Yeah, so I'm waiting for uh, you. You're welcome, everyone. Uh, you're welcome I'm to the sorry, Green Talk I'm Show. Just uh, this I is the sorry. Green Talk Show brought to you by My Tree Initiative. It happens every yeah. Friday from 7.30 to 8.30 live on the on our Facebook page that is at the Green Talk Show. And then we always uh, broadcast these shows on our YouTube channel uh, that is at My Tree Uganda. Uh, for those of you that were not able to watch our show last week, uh, it will be uh, broadcasted anytime on our YouTube channel. So you can always check in and then you can see the recorded uh, show from there. So for tonight's show, uh, we are having uh, we are having a number of guests. Uh, we have Mrs. Hannah Bamwerinde, she's an ambassador and the co-founder of uh, Share Yourself. So for today, we are going to start with her. Uh, our topic tonight is uh, looking at the African dream and climate change. So for now, I'll invite Mrs. Hannah. She will come in and tell us what uh, Share Yourself is. And then we can proceed as regards the topic for tonight. Over to you, Hannah. Yes, so share yourself basically what we do. Um, I apologize for the noisy background because it's okay. I'm, stuck, yes, I'm stuck in a place where um, I, I have not yet reaching home and I have to go and um, I had to find a place where I can speak from. And unfortunately, my battery will be running low, so I'll, I'll just be fast and quick. So share yourself yeah. what we basically do is we provide grant opportunities for young people who are startups and grassroots networks who do not have access to funding. I know a lot of Ugandans complain that they don't have access to funding, they don't have networks, they don't know where to start from. But at Share Yourself, you can write your, pro you can write your projects and um, when you write your projects, you can put it on and every single month we have grants running concerning climate change and we are focusing on Uganda and Nigeria, and therefore Ugandans really do have an advantage. Another thing, point of correction, I am not a co-founder at Share Yourself. I am just yes. an ambassador. Share Yourself is an American-based organization founded by mm -hmm. Stu. So yes, just a point of correction maybe there. And yes, basically that's what Share Yourself does. And I think it will help a lot of Ugandans because we want to create action, but we do not have the funds to create action. So what Share Yourself does, is you can just go to shareyourself.org right now and see, you can sign up. And once you sign up, you're able to put up your project. Once you put up your project, you can be able to apply for funding. Also, you can be able to fundraise using our platform, which is easy to use as a fundraising site. And uh, mm -hmm. definitely for young people, that is good news to hear. So um, that's how I can introduce Share Yourself. Okay, thank you so much, Anna. So uh, for the people that are out there, is there, is there any other way they could follow you, let's say, on Facebook, on Instagram? Uh, what uh, the handles that they can use to follow you over there? Um, definitely, it's Share Yourself or Organization Throughout. On Facebook, it's okay. shareyourself.org. On TikTok, it's share, at Share Yourself. And we're also available on Instagram at Share Yourself. So everywhere we are available on Share Yourself platform and as well on the website, we are also available. At just You just need to put in shareyourself.org and you'll be able to get some funding today. There are two grants and actually uh, one, there are two grants right now on the platform. Um, okay. Two of them are running, I think two days left, but you can still apply if you have an idea because that is funding that is available for Ugandans and Africans throughout the world. So please apply if you have an idea today. Do not think that um, it is hard. Do not think that it's impossible. We really focus on grassroots networks. So it's possible. Please apply at shareyourself.org. Um, Hannah, if you could make something more clear, is it that uh, these projects are only like they only have to be connected to climate change or action, like anything of that sort? Does it have to strictly be climate? So yes, um, that's a good question. Yes. Now, yourself primarily does support climate change, but mm. also other programs. For example, last month, um, a month and a half ago, we had programs running for girls' education. We had okay. programs running for different other aspects, like like uh, COVID nineteen rescue and health, mental health. We do have other grants running. 
but primarily the goal is climate change. Right now we have two grants running. One is for climate change action. Another one is for strictly for clean energy because we realize that climate change is broad. But in case you yeah. are not with climate change, we still have grants that run monthly. And also we are expanding, but primarily we do cater to climate change, but always there are other grants running uh, concerning education, concerning the uh, provision of water for local communities, concerning different technology sometimes. So there are all different aspects, not only the aspect of climate change, but right now we are focusing on climate change because we understand that action is now and action in yeah. grassroots networks, action for young people. And we realize that young people don't have access to financing. Young people don't have access to funds, but on Share Yourself, um, so many young people have been able to create a difference because we do not create the huge bureaucracy that is done by many other organizations. So it is yeah. easy to access funding and um, for sure young people should be able to access this funding. Okay, thank you so much, Anna. And then I think we should have uh, the fact that people are watching in live from Facebook. Uh, just in case we have any live comments that are coming in from Facebook, then we shall see how to go about them. And then okay. lastly, is it that is there a limit to these funds that are being given out to the youth? Or any amount can be given out to someone as long as their proposal is fit and it can be put into practice? Right now, I will say that the grants we are giving are small grants right now, ranging from $500 to $1,000. But like okay. I said, the platform is also a fundraising site. So if you fundraise $10,000 on the, on, the, on the platform, you will be given your money. So okay. there are two aspects of it. If you fundraise the money, yes, you'll be given to it. But right now, the grants we have running are small grants for $500, for $1,000. And another amazing thing is that you can apply as an individual. You do not have to apply as a, mm -hmm. a huge organization. If you as an individual have an idea that is good, uh, go, log on, sign up to share yourself, and you'll be, you'll be able to put on your project. So it's, it's very simple like that. You can be able to sign up so easily as an individual, as a company. It doesn't matter. Yes. All, we, all that matters is the validity of the idea, and we respect the idea versus who it is coming from. So it's more of listening to young people and giving opportunities to young local people who would not have gotten them otherwise. Uh, thank you, Hannah. The fact that you're still on and the battery hasn't, you know, switched the phone off. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And um, I, I would love to see young people yeah. benefit from then, share your and For sure, I would love to see Ugandans take young people, uh, young Ugandans taking action again. Uh, uh, in climate resilience ahead of the COP26 that we are we are anticipating later next week. But um, for sure, we are hoping for the best. Okay, so my question was, is there any form of sensitization that is usually made to maybe guide uh, the different youth on how best they would write their proposals? And maybe any other form of sensitization about climate, apart from them just coming in to get the funds and the grants? Yes, what we do is actually, at Share Yourself mainly, what we attract is passionate people. And yes. we do not make the process very tedious. What I mean is yeah. we do not ask for five essays of pages. All we do no. is we ask guiding questions which help us highlight, uh, which help us understand your project. What is your okay. goal? Like, there are very many, the, the, the process, procedure is very short, but we have guiding questions. So as long as you okay. answer the guiding questions and the terms and conditions, which are very few, you'll be able yes. to go on. So the criteria is just uh, log on to share yourself, sign up, and you will see mm -hmm. the guiding questions to, your, to, to the requirements given. But there are few guiding questions. It's not a tedious process like other organizations have. Okay, so luckily we have a question that is coming in from Facebook. Uh, someone is saying to Hannah, what's the criteria for share yourself to shortlist, to shortlist the applicants for these grants? Yes, the, the, the idea, for what I always tell people when they come and say, I want to win, the, the idea is everybody, everybody has similar ideas, but what makes you unique? Yes. Why should they choose you? You always have to be authentic to yourself. And most of the times we lose what is authentic to ourselves and we try to copy what everybody else is doing. But I would say 
the criteria is basically what is unique because this is a fair process that is done, a very fair process. We have already 16 Ugandans who have received these grants, already 16 Ugandans, and they're doing amazing work. So uh, it is a fair process, I can say. What I will mm. say is, like, I will re-echo it again. Be unique. Do not, do not write what everybody is writing. What makes okay. your idea unique? What makes you stand out is what you should stick to. And be authentic, because if you lie about what you can do, the process or the committee is going to understand, like, oh, you're lying about your process. So being authentic, yeah. being clear, being able to quantify what you're going to do, because if you're vague about the numbers and the location, you say, you're going to plant trees in Uganda. Where? Which location? How many mm. trees are you going to plant? What is your team comprising? You have to be very precise and very clear. But as long as you have done the, the right thing, you can always pass it for sure. It's a fair process. Thank you so much, Hannah. It has been an honor having you in the show. I know we, we won't have you till the end of the show. So I think you can yes. give in your last words to the young people that are watching us tonight. Yes, for, the, for people watching in, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, young people, do not wait for the big money. Do not wait for the big solutions. Start with what yes. you have. You have a, a social media platform. Use it. You do not have to wait for fans to tell your followers about climate change. You do not need a lot of money. You already have your data. You already have your social media, use what you have. Start from where you are. If you have a Facebook page, talk to your people about climate change. Start from where you are. You're never going to yeah. wait until you have a big platform. So I always advise young people, start from where you are, start with what you have, and what you have will take you to the next step. So what we have yes. is energy. What we have is our social media platforms, which, have, which help us leverage and uh, be able to tag almost influ many influential people. So let's use them wisely. And let's start from where we are and let's be a passion, let's continue to be passionate let's continue to be action oriented and for sure we shall be able to succeed without a doubt thank you so much anna it has been an honor um so for the guys that are watching in please be sure to check out share yourself uganda and then you can send in your ideas your projects and everything that you feel must be aired out there um uh, next one yes bye bye get home safely and next on tonight's show, we have Joseph Tahinduka. He's the executive director of the African Debate Institute, and he's also the head of a Rangers Union family. Uh, Joseph, if you're there, I'm going to hand over to you so that you can come up and tell us more about yourself and what exactly uh, Rangers Union family is uh, to the people that are watching us tonight. Over to you, Joseph. Um, I don't know if we're having network issues, um, but it being that we have another guest for tonight, um, I think the person that is behind this whole thing is going to let you in, Joseph, at any time. Uh, but as we wait for Joseph to come up, also on tonight's show, we have Ali Mohammed Kamal. Um, uh, maybe we could give it a second. Yes, he's here. Over to you, Joseph. All right, thank you, Hannah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. We all can hear you very well. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Joseph Gracious Tahinduka, and I'm so humbled to be a part of this. I've seen a number of uh, talk shows uh, with uh, quite big people here, uh, Maggie Chikozis, uh, people from Nyen DP. So I am really glad that I'm here. So the question was specific to what's the Rangers Union. The Rangers Union is a family of young people who are African, and they come from all around Africa. Some are from uh, Zimbabwe, some are from Kenya, Tanzania, Ghana, uh, but most are from Uganda. Now, the name Ranger uh, is something which is poetic in nature. Uh, so, you know, a Ranger protects something that is nearly going extinct. So we thought that we needed to identify with, with ourselves with such a name because it enables us to protect something which we think was going extinct. Africans, as they stand, had started to lose it. They did not have a sense 
of urgency about the things that are affecting Africa. So we thought we need to protect the African dream because Africans were adopting the global dream. They were adopting the European dream, the American dream, without giving a lot of thought to what African aspirations are. So in order not to create another America in Africa or another Asia in Africa or another Euro Europe in Africa, we thought we need to mix. And we do this through a number of initiatives. We engage ourselves in deep-rooted conversations on issues that mostly affect Africa, whether it is in politics or whether it's in socialism, whether it is in economics, whether it is in climate change. The entire idea is to ensure that each person understands that they have a contribution to the African dream. If you have read the United Nations Lesserman's Guide, and of course it goes into the climate change protocols, it says that every person has a contribution, however small it may be. They have a contribution to make to the dream of eliminating all carbon emissions. When you translate that to the African dream, every person has a contribution to make to take Africa to where it should go. And of course, a climate change sensitive Africa is definitely one that would secure the African dream. So that's a basic introduction. I will wait for more specific questions. So that's basically the introduction of what we do in the Rangers here. Hannah, I, 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 I closed my speech. I do not know whether you could proceed with the other questions. Uh, so as, as Hannah gets back, our dear viewers, it's important to also note that the Debate Institute Africa is uh, an institute that wants to uh, become the home of the African dream. The African dream needs a definition. It needs people who move it. And we think that the Beth Institute Africa is that is the next Brookings institution, is the next Shatham House, is the next policy hub that will give birth to Africa's policy future. So we are young, but we are so ambitious. We want to create Africa's future. Yes, Bruna, back to you. Uh, thank you so much, Joseph. Sorry about that. I was having some network issues. Uh, but then I believe we have a few questions that will be coming in. And I personally have my own questions that I would want to ask. Um, I didn't get to the point on how uh, the youth can join with their... Uh, what would be the steps that one has to go through so that they can come up and join you in all that you're doing? Uh, thank you so much. So uh, right now we yes. usually encourage people to join the projects that we run. Uh, we are opening yes. the membership of the Rangers Union uh, for a new cohort in January, but currently we encourage people to be a part of us. We've held a number of competitions. We've held yeah. the 1962 debate open that convened over uh, 120 people from Asia, from West Africa, South Africa, and East Africa. So uh, we yeah. organize events where we encourage people to be a part. We were at the center of organizing the Jumia debate open, which united over 400 young people from around Africa. And actually we were yeah. discussing climate change and food security for over a week. And we had uh, received sponsorship from, uh, from partners uh, as far as South Africa, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, and Kenya. So it, mm -hmm. it's important that uh, we recognize that the Rangers Union currently only admits people on projects. So once you want to be a part of a project, that's when uh, you can be a part of us. But our social media platforms are open and uh, in December we shall be opening up uh, a space so you can join us. One last thing is for every people who are really young, we, ha we also host the national team of Uganda, the national debate yeah. team competing in international competitions. Applications are coming up and they'll be on all our social media platforms. You could follow either my page, Joseph Tahindiko on Twitter, or you okay. could follow Africa on Twitter or the Betrangers on Facebook. All those links will be there, and we would love that you become a part of that future. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Joseph. And then the other question that I have, the fact that this is a climate show, um, how do you think uh, 
these projects that you're handling at the time, I should say maybe the, the debates, is there any way they're contributing towards climate action in our country? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I for one, I, am, I have served under policy work with the Center for Policy Analysis and uh, we strongly believe in uh, action oriented debate. For, you know, for us to combat climate change, there are very many efforts that need to be uh, advanced. There are, is, there are people who fight at the front defending the forest, defending Maivira forest, defending all parties. There are people who lobby in parliaments, who put all the pressure on social media. And to that extent, I was also the founding president of the University Debate Presidents Council, and currently we are running a climate change campaign. It's closing just at the end of October, and we are running minds to understand that climate change is an issue that is going to affect Africa. In fact, if you read through the annexus that was connecting the SDGs to uh, the, the, the SDGs to Africa Agenda 2063, they were saying that the Paris Agreement should be edited to include a clause which says that Africa is going to receive the the the, the most dire consequences of climate change. If if they wanted it to be edited uh, in the preambulatory clauses to include that Africa is going to have the most things in this uh, in this climate change uh, crisis. So uh, our our role in the debate world, as we reach out, is to uh, is to do why uh, is to do large scale and advocacy, right? Whether to NGOs, whether to policymakers, whether to ask ourselves that. We need to do something. So ours is more of uh, advocacy to inspire people to do something. So that's why we organize all these events to use uh, to, 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 to use uh, means which are non-conventional to drive certain agenda home. So th that is the role of uh, like spoken arts, for example. That's uh, I don't know. There's this I think war veteran in the UK who uh, developed a. Uh, I think it was a speech, a well-structured speech on climate change, and it raised almost a billion dollars. Uh, I know very many people, I think you know Bonita Murungi from the Absenza Girls, part of the national team. Thank you so much, Joseph. Uh, we have some comments that are coming in from Facebook. Uh, someone is saying that i uh, great to listen to a ranger. Thank you, uh, to Joseph. Then there's also a question that is saying, what's the process for someone to join the Rangers Union family? I think you answered that, uh, that people need to join in when projects have come up so they can be part of the whole thing. And then the other question that I have with the debate society, is it that uh, these debates are only for, let's say, I should say, uh, uh, university students, secondary school students, or it, uh, you know, anyone that feels they can come up and run for a debate and they can do their best can just you know come up as an individual and don't have to be under any institution over to you joseph I think we might have lost them, but then that doesn't stop us from continuing because we still have another host for the, uh, we have another guest for tonight's show. Um, uh, let me take this opportunity to welcome and call upon Mr. Ali Mohammed Kamali. Uh, he's the head of the recycling sector at Mukwano Industries, and he's also the CEO of Dunia Uganda. Hi, all. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, yes, I'm ready for any questions. Um, just to correct, I'm not the CEO of Dunia. Uh, mm. Dunia is actually a recycling company within yes. our uh, within our mother company, which is uh, Mukwano Industries. Mm. Um, it's just it's a company within a company, basically. Okay. Yes. Um, could you please take our viewers through what uh, Dunia Uganda is and what it exactly does? Uh, so basically. Uh, Dunia is a plastic recycling company. We're based okay. in Uganda. Uh, okay. We recycle all types of plastic. Um, as yes. uh, your viewers may know, we have now a fleet of uh, bikes 
that go around uh, commercial areas, residential areas, uh, to pick up uh, plastics. Um, we've co we've contracted the the big, uh, quote unquote, the big commercial leaders, which is the hotels, restaurants, um, not bars as of yet because uh, uh, bars are still uh, closed. But uh, we've contracted most of the most of the waste that. Uh, most of, where most of the waste is generated and uh, we're collecting from them in order for those uh, plastic materials not to end up in landfills, not to end up in our beautiful uh, Lake Victoria. And uh, yes, so we're basically a plastic recycling company in a nutshell. Sorry, I can't hear you. Um, Ali, uh, oh, yes. thank you so much. Um, I was saying, um, you earlier on were able to plant some trees with my tree initiative that was the founder and the co-founder of my tree initiative so could you please yes. kindly share uh, your experience with our viewers about uh, the whole thing of planting trees well uh the main idea uh, i also talked to ismail about this um the main idea was to collaborate with another another uh potential potentially a uh, great impactful company um yes and to uh not 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 necessarily partner but to show that because you know in, in in our culture that uh, planting a tree is like planting a new life right yeah so especially yes. a mango tree right so yeah um that was more of an inception inception mm. for dunya uh as a as a company within a company right um, yeah. Again, to also shed the light, shed light on uh, another very nice, a very nice company, a very nice idea, uh, which is uh, the Maitri Initiative. Um, yeah. And uh, it was great to go to uh, Mukono. It was great to plant that tree. Uh, great to meet some like-minded people. Uh, yes. We didn't only talk about trees, but we talked about other ways that uh, we can help the environment. To enhance yeah. uh, new and young the youth, right? I'm only 20 years old, right? So mm -hmm. uh, to come in and to uh, talk with like-minded people, especially uh, people that have just graduated uh, university, coming out into the employment sector, uh, just like myself, and it was it was it was a great experience not only to plant the tree, but to also uh, collaborate with such like-minded people. Okay, thank you so much, Ali. And then I also have another question, and that is, you know, the fact that we usually we have uh, most of the people that are watching us are youth, and just like you've said, uh, usually when people are out of campus, they usually find it hard to find, you know, jobs or anything that they can do at a moment as they wait for how they can do what they've been studying. So my question is, are there any other tangible opportunities, let's say, within Dunya, that you know the youth could come and take up over well, to you ali yes well honestly the recycling uh, the recycling uh, uh, space is so vast right and us okay. as mukwano as being one of the uh, largest employers in the country um, yeah starting starting this company was not only the psychology the psychology of starting this company was yes. to 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 go into to go uh, how do i say this to employ people that are overlooked right yeah uh, ismail and the maitri initiative would know this right saying mm -hmm. that in this in this business you're not you're not um you're not working with uh, with uh, people of blue collar or white collar you're not you're not working with them you're working with yeah. the lowest of the low right so yeah that's the type of employment that we're providing not not only okay. indirectly but directly mm. uh but 
again, just to go back to your point, um, yeah. this space is so vast. Uh, a simple YouTube video would spawn so many ideas, right? Especially in or Uganda or East Africa, right? Yeah. Um, yes. Just, just remember, this is a quote that that really lives by me. By 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish or any other species, yeah. right? Any plastic that has been manufactured in the past 100 years is still alive and is still on this earth. It has not, bio, it's not, it has not degraded, right? Yeah. And that, that, in itself, yes. that in itself creates opportunity, right? That in itself yeah. provides youth like us, right? To come up yeah. and to create other sources of employment to people who may not have that university degree, may not have that high school degree, right? May not uh, yes. may not be able to work in a in a I don't know, in a bank, right? In a mm -hmm. finan in financial sector, in in all the sectors in which you need education, right? If if yeah. in the next in the next few months you'll be you'll be seeing all the viewers will be seeing as well the ways in which we've connected to the community. Right. If you follow us on Instagram, Dunia at UG, um, okay. you, you can, you will see the types of people that we touch in this business, right? So Kwano has been, yeah. has been the biggest employer and the mm -hmm. most, the biggest family brand in, in Uganda. But now going into this space, we're touching the lives of people that are overlooked, right? And, and you'll be able to see that in the future. Um, thank you so much, Ali. It has been an honor having you. I think you might have been interrupted by the network, but I see uh, Joseph is back. So if Joseph, if you can hear me, you could come up again and then uh, give us some answers for the questions that had come in. Um, one question was, um, for the debate society, is it that the people that usually come up for these debates, are they coming up under institutions such as universities and secondary schools or individuals themselves can come up and take up the different uh, competitions that usually come in? Over to you, Joseph, if you're there. Um, as we wait for Joseph to come up, I'll go through the comments that we are having from Facebook. Um, uh, yeah, he's here. Over to you, Joseph. All right. Uh, thank you, Hannah. I, I'm, I'm humbled to be back. I've got a technical glitch. Yes, so we have several kinds of debates, but and they favor everybody. So for those who are out of school, and you still want to engage, we have debates that can favor you. Where Whether you're 35 or 40, uh, we, we have debates that can favor you. In case you have never debated and you want to get the skills, we still have that prerogative to come in. When you come in into the system, there's stage one. So at stage one, we train you in debate and public speaking to ensure you can be able to articulate the matters or desires of your heart in the best way possible so after that stage we can, we teach you several things that ground you in our i don't want to call it doctrine because it's not a religion but we believe in certain things like pan-africanism like the african dream so we propose that you believe in them more so so everybody has a space and uh, it, it's open just uh, follow debate africa and uh we, we, you, you'll see everything that is there. We have a YouTube channel. You could check it out, the Debate Institute Africa. And you'll get quite a lot of content that you can even use for self-training in case you have a school and you need training, in case you have climate change activists and they need uh, they need training in how to use their speaking abilities or writing abilities or debate abilities to cause writing policy papers. We still deliver that kind of... Um, of help to organizations or to people or to people in high school or even in primary we just serve 
different kinds of people in the same way. So you're welcome to join the community. It's a vibrant community of ambitious young people who want to cause a change their motherland. I hope that was the only question. I rest. Uh, the other question was saying, uh, what's the process for someone to join the Rangers Union family? I think this person had just joined in. So I do not know if it is okay with you for you know to at least um, tell them at least one more time so that they can get to know of how they can join the Rangers Union family. Yeah, uh, we usually admit uh, for a year. So okay. the, cohort, the cohort of this year is, is, uh, is, is still in transit and it's going to close in December. So we're opening up in January and the forms will be open on our social mm -hmm. media. I wish that okay. I was a comment session here, but it, uh, the, our, our our Facebook page is Debate Rangers. Our Twitter page is uh, is uh, Debate Africa. Uh, yeah, or you could just uh, hit me up uh, on this number. Yes, uh, okay. zero in case you're from around Africa. Plus two five six seven eight three nine three eight eight six eight. Or I'm going to paste it here, and someone can. Just, yeah, uh, someone will post it in the comments on Facebook via the Mitri yes, Initiative page. Yes, 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 yes sure. Okay. Uh, so, yes, we can find ways of keeping mm -hmm. in touch and you join this family. Mm. All right, uh, thank you so much. I guess that's it. Okay, yes, I believe we still have you on the show. We will be coming back to you later because we have some questions for Adi that are coming in. So you will be coming in later for us to close the show. Uh, for now, I'll go to uh, Facebook. We have a question that is being directed to Ali. Uh, someone is saying, how would Ali... Ali, I'll come back to Joseph. Um, over to you, Joseph. If you could kindly come back and give us uh, your last message mm -hmm. to the young people that are watching us tonight, you could give in your last message and how best they should go about climate change uh, for the betterment of our country and the later generations to come in. Over to you, Joseph. Uh, thank you so much, Hannah. I want to end by reiterating two positions. The first position is that our education system in Africa has uh, taught us to simply study to maximize our individual productivity and rarely uh, tells us that we have obligations to one, our country, two, our environment, and three, the people that we live with, and that is largely the community. It's important for us to recognize that probably we were raised up in a system which does not encourage us. There are, there are very many things that are not uh, in the curriculum. Our curriculum is entirely outdated to inspire us to protect the environment. For example, we studied a lot of geography, but you can imagine of that geography, uh, most of us were not sparked up to become climate change because we are simply studying for the sake of the paper. So it's important to recognize that we are indoctrinated into people who don't care and it's a bad thing. So it's important for us to know that each one of us that is listening or will ever listen to this talk show, that all of us have a contribution to, to contribute to Africa's future. And as Agenda 2063, which coins the African dream, says, yes people-led revolution to protect yeah. Africa. We know capitalism is almost shaking the foundations of, of, uh, of, of, of industrial Africa. African countries want to get out of poverty, but at what expense, right? Yes, we may yes. get the industry, we may get the jobs, but at what expense? Where our children even have any air to breathe? 
or they will be moving with masks just like in some cities of china so it's important for us as young people to rise up join government uh, participate yeah. in climate strikes and hold people who have power accountable we have the power the power spectrum has changed young people yes. in the past you know we did not have power but right now we have social media where we can hold these people accountable the power has shifted and now people in uh people in power are most vulnerable to accountability ladies and gentlemen your voice counts on your social media in your home in your schools your voice counts don't fear obey that voice of courage to take you to be on the right side and do the right thing and that is to protect mother earth but especially now that i am a little bit biased mother africa thank mm -hmm. you hannah uh thank you so much uh joseph thank you for that energy in the last message i believe whoever has been watching us can really pick a thing or two or whatever you might have told us for tonight it has been an honor having you on tonight's show i believe we've all learned something from joseph um uh for now i would call upon ali i do not know if he's back with us uh ali if you can hear me and you're back on the show you could come up and give us your last message before we can close the show for tonight uh over to you ali again as we wait for him let me take a few seconds to go through the messages that we've been getting from facebook uh, from our viewers that always take the initiative of coming in every night and watching us. Uh, we have Inja Ashraf, you are saying, we're tuned in, thanks a lot. We have Mitna Uthman, she was saying she's tuned in. We have Msubuga Hamdan, he was saying, I'm listening in carefully with respect and love. Uh, then we had questions from Ismail Glin. Uh, we have again, um, uh, we had Swabur Siraja, he was saying, thank you, MTI, I'm watching. And he was also saying, yeah, amazing, Dunya Recycling. Actually, uh, the people out there that might not be aware, yes, Mukwano Industries is producing the plastics, but then they have a sector again that is recycling this plastic. So I believe uh, that is something that, you know, the different companies could really look at because it is really amazing. They are producing the plastics, but again, at the same time, they are recycling the plastics uh, for, you know, for our climate, uh, for conservation of our environment, and for better protection for the future generations that are yet to come. I believe uh, that is very interesting. Uh, for now, uh, I'm still waiting on for Ali. Uh, we could wait for a few seconds before we could close. And again, to our viewers, I'll always keep on reminding you for those of you that do not get to watch these uh, episodes, uh, the shows are available on our YouTube uh, channel, that is at My Tree Initiative Uganda. We've had the different episodes from episode one to episode 13. Uh, last week, we weren't able to have the show, but still uh, we recorded uh, the episode and then it was uh, uploaded on our YouTube channel. So feel free to go watch these shows we've had so many amazing guests different topics so please feel free we've had uh, doctors we have we've had journalists we've had politicians we've had all sorts 